you a stepper, bitch, you better step That 30 shoe like Steph, I earn my stripes But I am not a ref, I cook them on no shelf And I'm so right that I ain't going left Ain't nothing like the rest It's like a pastor, you get your ass blessed Like King Kong be my check My life a movie, I don't do no acting Get broke like a fashion Pistol packing, I ain't never lacking I'll let you have it, we in traffic with the fucking ratchet We'll do you nasty, Bucky calling cause I took your shit And disappear like magic What's up, y'all? These are a few things that I've learned from the NBA bubble. First thing we're going to talk about. Devin Booker. Nobody need to put respect on his name no more. Nobody can't say that he not no leader. Nobody can't say this or that. The man been playing hard on defense. The man been leading his team. The man hit a couple tough shots. And they haven't lost in the bubble yet. So... Nobody can't say that man a leader. That man giving it his all. Literally, the man giving it his all. His all. It shows you what he can do when Aiden playing well, uh, Mikael Bridges playing well, um, Baines balling. So you see, you see what can happen when when the team is actually playing and together. If Kelly Oubre was dead, it then that's another weapon. If Kelly Oubre was balling before the before the NBA cleared out, he was having his best season. So the Suns, whether or not I, I don't think they um I think Damian Lillard just sailed the playing game with Memphis, so they're not gonna make it. But next year they're gonna be a lot better. They they definitely gonna be a playoff team next year. Um, another thing I I I, I saw is that I man Damian Lillard, bro. Damian Lillard from else. Like if Steph if Steph don't come back. 100% Damian Lillard the best point guard. Like, like bro, Damian Lillard is balling, man. CJ balling. You got Melo hooping. Nurk is hooping. Yo, that team is dangerous. The Trailblazers are dangerous. Lillard is hooping. That, the second thing is, in a nutshell, that the Trailblazers are for real. Like, they went to the conference finals. Last year and this year they had some injuries. They started off really slow, and that's why they're in the position because they really should be in the playoffs already. But that's why they're in the position that they are in, bro. The Blazers. I know the Blazers playing the Lakers, and they're probably not gonna be the Lakers. They probably. I like them to. Two, I like them to steal two games from the Lakers. You know, full two. They. they I mean. The way the Lakers been playing, I ain't gonna say they. I ain't gonna say. I ain't gonna say the Trailblazers are the Trailblazers are a favorite to win because they're not. But the Lakers, the Lakers been playing. I don't know. They like two and three, two and four in the bubble. I don't know. You know. Um, another thing I learned. I'm worried about Zion. Knock on wood. But, like. He he been hurt. He missed a bunch of time of the NBA season. Then the NBA been out from quarantine, so he had all that time to rest. Then he came back, and now he's sitting out. Why he sitting out? Like the man, man, twenty years old. He should have fresh legs like a mug. He should have fresh legs. His legs should be fresh. Um, and he not playing. That team need him. I think it's a little too late, but they needed him. So they uh, they are. A good team. I'm curious to see what they're gonna do with Brandon Ingram because he's in the contract year. So I don't know how that's gonna go. Is Lonzo in a contract year? Maybe not Lonzo. He might be. But yeah, I want to see what they do in the future with the Brandon Ingram contract to see if they keep Zion and Brandon Ingram together. Another thing I've noticed is that. My boy Austin Rivers hooping. Like, Austin Rivers is hooping. And that makes Houston deadlier than Austin Rivers hooping because if they have Westbrook hooping, Harden hooping, and Austin Rivers, plus Eric Gordon balls, ain't, ain't, that, ain't nothing they can do. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing people going to be able to do. Well, yeah, because eight, uh, Lakers have AD and that length is going to be too much. But they're dark horse to win it all. They're dark horse to win it all. Um, let's see. 
What else have I learned from the bubble? Uh, let's see. Um, what else have I learned from the bubble? I've learned that, to me, anyway, you don't need fans for interest to be in the game. Like, I, I was watching the games, and I was interested. I didn't care that the fans wasn't there. I was watching the game. I didn't need I didn't need no fans. I wonder if, if the players – I wonder if the players want, wanted the fans or not. I didn't really hear nobody really, like, say that – they like, oh, the fans won't be there. They, I didn't really hear anybody talk about, you know, they, they asked them about it. It was like a little bit, you know, the fans won't be there. But it wasn't like anybody stressing that they, that they wanted the fans to be there. Um, But it didn't matter to me. Still was a good show. Still was good entertainment by Damian Little, Devin Booker, and others. Um, Another thing, C.J. McCollum is so underrated, like, I know I spoke on the with us earlier, but CJ McCollum is a smooth ball handler, like he's a smooth hooper, like he got moves on moves, like what's he what is he like six two and he be getting buckets, like he an undersized shooting guard. I mean really if he was on another team he'd probably be running the point. The man's the like I know he not on literary level, but he is definitely an also it's it's a travesty that him and Devin Booker haven't been an also yet. It's been like three, four years in a row when him and Devin Booker have been putting up like twenty four points a game. To, it's like they they get buckets, you know what I'm saying? Um, the, the lockdown of the NBA, the closeout of the NBA, if that's what you want to call it, has been good for a lot of players. A lot of players have come back in the best shapes of their of their career. James Harden looks like he lost a lot of weight. Uh, Nikola Jokic, the Joker, he like he lost a lot of weight. Luka looked like he's in better uh, shape. Um, for some reason, Luka is really in, in solid shape. Like Luka, Melo, I forgot what other uh, so, uh, some other players. It look like they chubby, but they not. They in good shape. Um, yeah, Melo's in better shape. Melo's in really good shape. Melo's playing, competing on defense. He's rebounding better. He, he you know, he gonna score in a bucket. That's that's what he do. He gonna get buckets. So he's been doing that. It's just players are in better shape, and I guess a lot of players have been working out in those months that they were away. Like a lot of players thought that people was gonna be out of shape. No, people was in shape when they came back. Um, another thing that I I've uh hi right, this one's kind of a joke, but karma does karma exist? I think it does, because as soon as Jonathan, Jonathan Isaac didn't nail, he tore his ACL. Now, it might not be karma, because you have to look at the facts. He did injure his, himself earlier in the season, and this is him coming back. So, you got to look at that. But also, I found it very interesting that he hurt himself after that in that game. I find that very interesting. Coincidence? Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. But it's just funny how that happened. Um, it's funny how that happened. Um, figured out that I don't know who's the best player in the NBA. It's up for grabs right now. Like, you, LeBron look like he's number one sometimes. Kawhi look like he's number one sometimes. Um, Dame Little look like he could be the best player in the league. James Harden look like he could be the best player in the league. Giannis like he the best player in the league. So there's multiple players just hooping, hooping, you know, going hard to be the best player in the league to get a team the best chance of a championship. So I don't know right now. When Steph Curry come back, he gonna, he gonna be in the discussion. What's Rustbrook, you know, um, KD, we don't know. We don't know if KD's going to hoop the same when we come back. He probably is because his, his his game isn't built on athleticism. It's on skill, rhythm, shooting skills. So I'm not worried. He may might be, he might be a little less effective at the defensive end, but that's still pretty solid because KD 
KD will probably still be a solid defender because of his limb and uh, his quickness. So I've noticed slash learned about the bubble, the NBA bubble. Just a few things. Beasley TV coming to you with a little something. And we out. But follow me on Twitter at Beasley TV. Follow me on Instagram at Beasley TV1. If you want to um, show support to my photography page, follow me Beasley TV at. No, I'm sorry. If you want to support my photography, follow me at Seal Photos, C E I L Photos. Follow me on Facebook at David, D A V I D, McNeil, M C N E I L. And get this thing rocking. You know what I'm saying. Peace.